Hi guys, happy Tuesday. Um, today's tasks, what are we doing today? So in maths, we are subtracting decimals with the same amount of decimal places. Really easy, just think about your place value. Super easy job. Um, in English, you're going to be writing a biography, a short biography, which is a biography is when you're writing about someone's life. Um, and I would like you to write today about Greta Thunberg. We've talked a little bit about her and you've got some information in your pack about her. <coughs> Greta Thunberg is a uh, Swedish teenager. <coughs> I'm sorry, I need some water. Um, and she is a huge um, icon at the minute um, when we're thinking about the environment and climate change. She is, she's a really, really... Um, incredible inspirational person and I'd love you to read about her and I would like you to have a go at writing a little biography about her life. When we write a biography it's usually in time order so we would start off uh, with when she was born and her kind of formative years when she was younger and then we would talk about now so maybe you could do two paragraphs for me um, about her life so far. She's obviously very young so I'm sure she's got lots and lots to do. You could do a third paragraph at the end where you kind of um, suggest some things that she might be doing in the future. Um, be cool. And for SPAC today, we're going to be looking at semicolons. Now, we've not looked at semicolons before, and they look like they would be kind of stressful, but they're actually really, really easy. I put this poster in your pack. Semicolons are used to separate two main clauses. So I've got an example here. Sorry, they're used to connect two main clauses. So I've got two main clauses here. Sorry, I wrote Miss Layton in blue because I'm feeling special. Miss Layton really misses her class, full stop. She thinks about them every day. They are two main clauses that are related. They are linked to each other, very closely linked to each other. Um, so what I could do is instead of using my full stop and my capital letter, I could swap my full stop for, I hope this pen works, a semicolon. Here. Miss Layton really misses her class, semicolon. She thinks about them every day. And literally that's how easy it is to use a semicolon. You need to make sure you're you're using two main clauses, so they need to be sentences that make sense on their own. It's not like using a relative clause. Um, and you need to make sure that they are quite closely related. You couldn't, sorry, Adam's being very noisy in the garden. You couldn't say, Miss Layton really misses her class. Uh, she's been painting her house whilst school has been closed. Those two clauses are kind of related, but they're not very closely linked. It's talking about has been off school and what I've been doing but they're not as closely linked as these two statements these two sentences main clauses so you've got a sheet where I want you to have a look at the I think I gave you this one actually where you have to have a look at the um, sentences and you need to get rid of the conjunction and stick a semicolon in there instead and I'm going to be looking and seeing if you can use some semicolons in your writing this week if you do some, uh, some writing maybe you could highlight where you've used a semicolon so I can see it really clearly. Um, anyway, have a go at that. Semicolons, actually really easy. Uh, and then for your topic this afternoon, I would like you to choose something in your house that you don't use anymore. It might be a t-shirt or an odd sock you've got. It could be an old coat hanger. It could be a box. Just something that you don't use anymore. It could be you know, a plant pot or a mug that nobody likes and no one wants to use. Uh, it could be anything. And I want you to think about what else you could do, use it for. We know the three R's, reuse, re reduce, reuse, and recycle. The best one, to, the best thing is to reuse something rather than recycling it or um, re re well, reducing is really important as well. Um, but using things that we don't use anymore and seeing if you can repurpose them into something else. So for example, all my old candle pots that used to have candles in and I've burnt them down, I plant plants in them, little cactuses and things. So I want you to find something in your house that you can use for something else. You might want to take a photo of it and write a little caption. Uh, you might need to do something to that item to change it. So you might want to use an old candle pot and put a plant in it if you can do that at home. Um, or you might just want to write a little note to me on um, Class Dojo telling me what you found and what you are going to repurpose and reuse that item as. I look forward to hearing of some of your ingenious ideas. Good luck. Have a lovely day and I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye.